Just what is a Golgia anyway? I can't remember what the third boss in this dungeon looks like. I remember the first boss, that was a bird, Dodo, pretty easy. Second was the most adorable bat, but I just can't remember what Golgia looks like. It's bad, I played this game before. Welcome back to Hydra Castle Labyrinth. We're gonna find out what a Golgia looks like. Previously, I got the red key. It opens the red door. It's a little slow, it's old, okay? This is Golgia! The electric snail! Those electric bolts can shock you. I remember this guy now. You can cheap him out really easy. This is all you need to do. Just stand in the middle and abuse him with boomerangs. Pretty simple. It's like this, uh, it's like this boss was intentionally made under the assumption that you would not have as much stuff as I have. Because those lightning bolts would be able to shock you. You wouldn't be able to block them with a hunter's shield if you didn't have it. And, of course, boomerangs completely wreck this guy. But now it's just the waiting parts. It's great. What did you have to offer humanity, electric snail? Now you're Escargo. Escargo home. And we get the gyra key. Now I'm thinking about gyros. And now I'm hungry. Thanks a lot, Dungeon 3. So it's time to head to Dungeon 4 now. And also... I learned how to save scum by changing the file name. This game only allows you to have one file of saves. But if you change the name, you can have many. That's good for me. While I'm recording this, I have to do it several times over because I mess up or do something or hit the wrong button and close the game like I did the last time. Spoiler, this last take, I ruined it because I hit a, a button the wrong way and closed the game. It was embarrassing. This is my penance. But we're not heading the dungeon for just yet, though. I forgot a thing. Yeah, just like the Gorgon ring, I forgot a ring that was along the way. But for some reason, I did not want to go and grab it. It's like I don't need treasure that badly. But do you remember where the copper pick is? We're going over there. This is where the dungeon number one key was. And right over here... It's a thing! I hear a ding. It must be a thing. What is it? It's a ring. It's the Hydra ring. It allows us to resist poison. Some enemies can poison us just by touching me. They can't do that anymore. I'm completely immune to poison. Both the gas form and venom. I think I'm immune to every status effect now, I think. I'm immune to poison, both kinds. I'm immune to earthquakes. I'm immune to shock. I'm immune to petrification. There's no sleep in the game, thank goodness. That would be annoying. And there certainly isn't something like Mini or Toad. So that's also another good thing. I never understood those status effects. It's one of those things you never use in your Final Fantasy spellbook. It's like Demi. Who wants to use a spell that only takes away a fraction of their health? When I use a spell, I want it to die. Welcome to the left side of the map. We've never been here before. There's stuff over here, too. We'll go up later. We're going other places. Like down here into the back corridor. I remember one of those areas in adventure games? It's here, too. Where you just sashay between two screens over and over again. There's no importance to this room. They could have put a ladder, like, right here, all the way up, and got rid of this room. But then you wouldn't be able to go over here, because you would hit a brick wall. But if we go this way, it'll take us to water. Guess what dungeon 4 is? It's a water dungeon. I will not have fun in the water dungeon. I don't want to go there just yet, but I will open the door at least. And save, because I want to go down there. But not as much as I thought I would. There's other places I could go. And I don't want to go in water just yet, because everyone knows my track record with water. I have the rabies, I have the aquaphobia, I don't want to miss a water. Let's do things that aren't water, okay? Yeah, that sounds like a great day for me. I don't want to risk trying to charge, because if I fall in that water, it's very difficult to get out of. We'll see that when I try to go into water, because the game's going to force me to. Necessarily force me to. I can go comfort later because there's a 
There's an item in the fourth dungeon that helps with that. But it's more trouble than it's worth. I want that item first. Also, we're gonna have to kill everything in this room now. This is what happens when I get exposed to water. Everything dies. I start throwing boomerangs, and no one likes that. They say, hey, Armored Chocobo, we're just trying to have a swim party. Why are you throwing boomerangs at everyone? Because I want a treasure chest, that's why! It's the bomb! It's one of the last sub-weapons you get. It does that! Let's try, uh, let's try keeping it on the platform. You do not want to get exploded by that bomb. It has a huge hitbox, and it lingers for a while. When it plays the exploding animation, it's not done exploding yet. And it, hit, it hits as hard as, like, four hits of a boomerang or a sword. So don't mess with it. I guess we're gonna have to go this way now. Ah, uh, I, I do not like this. That is why I do not like this. Water drains my health. It's poison water again. It's like adventurers have really poor lung capacity. They can't hold their breath at all. And also, trying to fight those things is, uh... It's a process of insanity. Don't do it. What you should do is use double jump to your advantage to get a little bit of a speed boost. Try doing this without double jump, I dare you. I don't think it's possible. You have to get really lucky on the heart drops. But I managed to avoid drowning! And I got the Ismouth Gill! Which allows us to... I'm trying to find my inventory button blind. Resist drowning! Excellent! Thank you, Button, you ruined the joke. I hope you're happy. But I can't drown anymore. I still move slower than dirt, but I can't really help with that. That is what the item in Dungeon 4 is for. But Dungeon 4 is a water dungeon. If you don't have the ability to not drown, it causes problems for you in many, many ways. I.e. you will die a lot. So many times. I almost died just doing this, and I got lucky on the heart drops. I don't think it's possible to do this dungeon without this item. You have to go through some severe pain. But it's time for Dungeon 4 now. Let's not get murdered by bats, how about? Let's just use our boomerangs and destroy them. I am I'm in caution mode now. I'm in safety mode. I don't want to get hit by enemies. That enemy was going to hit me. Self-defense! Now it's time for... Gyra's Bog. Gyra's Bog. I'm thinking about gyros again. Stop that. I never had a gyro. Why am I thinking about them? This is the water dungeon. Luckily, we have immunity to water now. Because right off the hop, we're going to have to go through water. And we can't do much about it either. Not at all, no siree. So we're going to be taking pain right off the bat. Either by getting hit by the fishman or just by drowning if you don't have the Innsmouth Gill. Fun fact though, the Innsmouth Gill is actually a Lovecraft reference. One of the towns in one of the short stories is called Innsmouth and Cthulhu things went on. I never read HP Lovecraft. I'd never actually gotten around to reading it. Also, you gotta wait for those guys to dismount the platforms if you wanna manage to hope to get over here. You gotta manage your hope if you wanna survive the water dungeon. But I'm just gonna beeline right for that item. Once I get that item, I'll probably murder everyone because I'm in the water again and this is not where I wanted to be. Not at all. Now I'm tempted. I, do I need... Do I, sh should I cut this out, or... Keep going? Hmm, maybe... Nah, I don't need to cut it out. I thought there was a few screens over more than I was thinking. It's a good thing. It's just places like this, they get my dander up, because... I gotta backtrack, because I got hit by something. And I, I don't like that. I don't like backtracking because I got hit by something. Like backtracking because there's stuff. And when I do stupid things like that, then I gotta backtrack some more. I hope you enjoy this room. I am enjoying this room. Isn't this just a great room? It's all watery and stuff. It appeals to my water-loving nature. Let's try that one more time. I wish there was like a water walking ability. Then I wouldn't have to be doing this over and over again. I could walk on the water. 
That actually would be a cool item to have in La Milana too. I hope they have that. I hope they have that process through. I want an ability to walk on water. You'll be like me. I can walk on water. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna cut it. Cut! Annoyance levels are reaching their peak in the water dungeon. No more water for me, thank you. Luckily, I don't need to worry about water for a while now. It's a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Let's just hit these switches. Let's just get this item, and I'll probably call it a day here. Because I just don't want any more water. I think I had my fill. I definitely had my 8 ounces of water today. Eight gallons of water. What are these things? I don't know, but they're gonna die from boomerangs. They're in my way. I need to get over there. I require that anti-water item. I require that anti-getting lost item. Hey, they're Lickitungs! Or whatever the heck they are. Um, what are those stomach Pokemon? I'm trying to remember. Gulpin? Yeah, I think that's what it is. And so it's kind of what they look like. They're, um... There's some weird, uh, Lickitung, Dugong, Seal thing. They do that to you. This is where it gets really painful if you don't have the Insmouth Gill by now. Or Double Jump, for that matter. Because you have to do very slow, calculated jumps to get up here. And get the Insmouth Fin! That allows us to... Maintain our movement in water. Good. That means this dungeon will be less of a pain if I get... Fall into the water now. So, next time on Hydra Castle Labyrinth, I tackle the watery section of this watery dungeon. Good night, folks.